Hi everybody, my name is Dr. Kimberly Brown and I am an emergency medicine physician in Memphis, Tennessee. I am bringing you the second day of the hashtag Black History, Black Health, and this is being brought to you by my friends and fifth sisters, Drs. Tawanda Wadlington and Dr. Brittany Wells. Uh, Brittany had an amazing idea to um, share black health moments uh, with her class at her predominantly white college and institution that she teaches at. So I decided to jump on with her and share in this experience. So today, um, the black figure that I will be bringing to you in medicine and health is Dr. Rebecca Lee Crumpler, who was the first black female physician to be licensed to practice in the United States. Dr. Crumpler was born uh, February 8th, 1831 in Christiana, Delaware, and she was raised in Pennsylvania by her aunt. She later attended the West Newton English and Classical School in Massachusetts, where she was found to excel in math. After she graduated from that school, she decided to move to Charleston, Massachusetts, where she worked as a nurse for eight years, and eventually she was accepted to the New England Female Medical College in 1860. She got a full scholarship from um, the Wade Scholarship Fund, which was established by an abolitionist, Benjamin Wade. At that time, it was extremely rare for either blacks or women to become physicians and there was absolutely no black women physicians in the entire United States. On March 1st, 1864, the Board of Trustees of the New England Female Medical College named her a doctor of medicine after she completed her three years of coursework, her thesis, and her final oral exam. Again, she was the only black woman to ever become a physician at that time. And she was also the only black woman to graduate from the New England Female Medical College. It eventually merged with Boston University. Dr. Crumpler started her medical practice in Boston where she primarily took care of poor women and children, poor women and children. After the Civil War, um, she ended in 1865. She ended up moving to Richmond, Virginia because she said, quote, it found it to be a proper field for real missionary work and one that would represent ample opportunity to become acquainted with the diseases of women and children. She later worked for a Freedmen's Bureau in uh, Richmond, Virginia that cared for newly freed slaves after the Civil War. When she worked for the Freedmen's Bureau, she said that the quote, men doctors snubbed her, the druggists, or what we call pharmacists, balked at filling her prescriptions, and some people wisecracked that the MD after her name stood for a mule driver. In 1883, she published her book called A Book of Medical Disclosures, and it was basically a book of all the notes that she kept during her medical practice and throughout her career. She dedicated it to nurses and mothers, and it was focused on the care of women and children. Dr. Crumpler died on March 8th, excuse me, March 9th, 1895 in Fairview, Massachusetts. So Dr. Crumpler is a special inspiration to me being a black female physician. She completely paved the way for me, especially at a time when black women were not doctors. We were field hands, we were slaves, we were working in homes, and we were definitely not providing medical care for the population around us. I found it beautiful that she went back and served her community and she specially cared for other women and children and made sure their lives were better. So today I'm glad to give you the black history, black health fact on Dr. Rebecca Lee Crumpler, um, the first African-American female physician to practice medicine in the United States. Please follow along with our hashtag Black History, Black Health, and we will be back with you tomorrow with another public health figure, Black public health figure in medicine. Talk to you later.